Hey everybody, it's Brandon here from Mahalo Video Games with a review for Elo Milo for Xbox Live Arcade. It's a new puzzle game. And uh, while you might think that the next new entry in the puzzle genre is never far off, most of you would be hard pressed to find one as unstoppably cute as uh, South End Interactive's Elo Milo. Fuzzy characters frolic and chirp, and cute Oompa bands celebrate special token pickups, all while the dulcet tones of the kazoo fill the air. If adorability were all that made a great game, the work would be finished here. South End, however, has also crafted a solid puzzler that not only works well, but takes some stabs at wringing real emotion out of a simple premise. While that emotional connection is never fully exemplified by the gameplay, any gamers looking for a brain teaser that's long on looks will enjoy most of what Elo Milo brings to the table. The mechanics of the game start out very simply, as they do in any good puzzle game, and slowly build on themselves to further engage and challenge players. Elo and Milo are two adorable plush-looking creatures whose best friend status is constantly threatened by their unfortunate predilection for losing track of each other every 10 minutes. The player is tasked with alternating between the two as they search for each other in a world of floating cubes and wacky devices. Control of the characters is simple, with only one action button, the others being used only to adjust camera settings. Progress is never more complicated than picking up cubes to form bridges or cross gaps. It gets more complicated, of course, when it introduces the manipulation of gravity and sees the characters moving along the sides of cubes, turning the world on its head. This convention puts Elo Milo into similar dimension-shifting puzzle games of late like Crush or Echo Chrome or the upcoming Fez. The effect is delightfully dizzying at first, but will present players with some stiff difficulty in later puzzles. Before the game gets too difficult, pure charm oozes from the game in healthy doses. Music is delightful, the cutscenes well done, and the gonzo visits from the resident sage Sebastian are informative, funny, and tinged with heavy doses of nonsense. The charm extends, too, to the lineup of puzzles presented to the player. The designers have eschewed the straight-line difficulty curve of other puzzlers and instead opted on changing up the amount of difficulty from stage to stage. This ensures the players aren't turned away by an ever-growing difficulty beast in the same way that many puzzle games have overcome this writer. There's an elegance, too, in the way the introduction of game conventions ebbs and flows in and out of levels. Each of the chapters introduces a new convention to the game, but doesn't necessarily pile them on each other in more and more difficult ways. That's not to say that the game is easy, only that each new element of the game is given plenty of specific puzzles before they're thrown in with concepts introduced before. The variation makes sure that younger or casual gamers have more chance of seeing the game's ending, while the hardcore minority can collect difficult-to-reach collectibles and consequently play each chapter's beefier bonus levels. While the mechanics of the game are solid and enjoyable, South End should also be commended for trying to wring real emotion out of their players. The story showers the game with definite themes of loss and melancholia, and the main mechanic neatly encapsulates the ends we go to in order to reconnect with the ones we love. The experience of actually connecting with the darling main characters never quite happens, however, as they aren't characterized by anything other than the fact that they're searching for their better halves. I can't imagine that Elo and Milo need to be more than representatives for their desired themes, but the game never quite seems to convey the depths of emotion the designers were after, in their inclusion of things like old collectible memories or Sebastian the narrator's sad story. Perhaps this disconnection lies in the fact that once the difficulty begins to ramp up, the cute factor can become less and less of window dressing and more of a constant buzzing in the player's ear. There were times on not a few puzzles where the Baroque music and chirpy sound effects seemed to be laughing in my face, calling out the size of my small brain. It got exasperating a few times, let me tell you. Similarly, a few of the later puzzles have solutions that require some actions that don't quite make sense in the world. For example, using the characters' heads to stop a rising block seems out of place in the toothless plane they regularly inhabit. All in all, Elo Milo is a successful puzzle game that's sure to delight. Puzzles are fun and satisfying, while never quite out of this world difficult. The price point on XBLA is perfect as well, and I'd say that it's a great value. While the addition of the emotional element doesn't quite fulfill its promise, it's easy to overlook in favor of a careful presentation here. I'll give Elo Milo a 4 out of 5.